Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I've got this unit that came this color straight out of the pack and I installed it to perfection. I, I do say so myself. I think the baby hairs is on point. The color is on point. The lace is on point. And if we can throw in the face is on point as well. Like shout out to the last check. But this unit from Mega Look Hair was sent to me and I'm so excited to get into it and discuss like how I feel about the unit. If you want to hear my honest thoughts on the unit and see the full process from beginning to end stay tuned and keep on watching all i gotta say is Mwah! and you already know who it is <laughs> to kick it off we're going to start with this skin protector from even i'm going to apply that on a little cotton pad and push that to the back i went ahead and sprayed this this wig cap with some even tinted spray I have that link down below. All the products I'll have today, I'll have the link down below. If you're wondering, if you like, hey, where can I get this? It's a link down below. Like I'll be telling y'all. And if you're on your phone, I mean, if you're watching this on your TV, I know a lot of y'all watch on, on the TV. If you watch on TV, if you go on your phone, it should be on your YouTube browsing history. You go to YouTube browsing history, you can go to the description box. It's that easy. So, yep, I'm using the Erica J Hold Me Down glue. And I'm just burning that out with this little spatula, edge brush combination thing and i'm gonna blow that down with this hand fan so i realized i don't feel like waiting forever i got hair to, i got hair to do i got places to go so this is the wig it's from mega look hair it's a super nice highlighted unit as you can see the highlights are like a nice ash blonde color it's super pretty super lustrous super nice um i do think i should have given this like a deep condition or something because this was processed hair so you know it isn't you know virgin anymore so it needs a little bit more taken care of and i do wish i would have done something some type of treatment to like really to care for the strands before i got to it because this hair is pretty nice but i just know like some silicone mix on this would have really Mwah! i say all that to say that the hair is in its natural air dried state so you know i think that would have just added to you know how nice the unit was already but now once I get the wig all measured and centered in my head, I'll go ahead and draw that little squiggly squiggle and that's what I'm going to trace when I cut it out. So my ear can just settle on right in between the little squiggle swiggle and it'll lay how it's supposed to lay and it's going to look real good. I got these sewing scissors. Don't recommend. Get you some regular scissors because this would just be laying around. And I got a whole pack of sewing scissors and they got to get put to use. So gotta also get your eyebrow razor for the back it just seems a little easier for me to do it this way i never want to really use scissors for the back because i feel like i can't really get as much control but once i get that and i make sure it's where it needs to be i'm like satisfied with that i say okay and i do a little smile and then i cut two lines and i lift it up i'm going to also be spraying a little bit of some even tinted spray on lace after i grab these little couple straggly hairs you know when hair is trying to stick to the glue hey you gotta go spray a little bit of this um even spray and time to do our first section so our first section y'all know how i like to break it down break it down into three sections it's just easier to me that way and i think i get the most consistent lay that way so once this gets a little translucent but not dry you know just a little tacky but you know you don't want it to be too white anymore you want it to be really clear it might be a little white but for the most part you don't want it too white and once that gets sufficient, I'm using this on a cool setting, by the way. Once that gets sufficient, like it's a little white in the back, but it'll be okay. Once I get sufficient, one more good time again. Once I get sufficient, I'ma just um, get it situated and make sure the hair is out the way. Just you know, this is when it's time to get serious. Put your game face on. It's it's the first stick. You gotta try to be for real when you when you get that first stick on. So be for real. Get get in the, get locked in and just make sure it's in the middle. This is why I usually like to just have a middle part going on when I do my first installs because it's just easier for it to be centered that way. But since I'm freeballing it, I think I'm a pro or something. I think I've been doing it so long time or whatever. That's how I'm doing it and it was a little bit more difficult. And that's why it's just easier to do wigs like you're a beginner all the time because it's just easier that way. So don't waste your time like me and make sure you got a middle part in so this is a whole bit easier. A whole bit easier like girl anyway do the do the rest and yeah i'm not really I'm, I'm not really a fan usually of just having this wig cap one but i guess the way i i did it it made it look good i don't know usually i don't like it but i i did it like this i usually take the wig cap off once the wig is secure but i left it on and it looks surprisingly pretty good so 
Maybe this is the new thing. Who knows? Who knows? I love introducing new techniques and switching it up. So, you know, in the meantime, this part can't get switched up. It's, no, it's pretty routine. Do your three sides. I'm going to glue that down, and I'm going to come back when it's time to ridge off that lace. Then finally, gotta repeat that step on the remaining side, stick that down, and we can apply that elastic band. Next is silk drop time. Just gonna put like a dime sized amount in my hand, rub it around real good, and Put that all throughout the hair. It's just going to take away some of that frizz. Some of that, you know. I know just processing hair can just, you know. This isn't, like I said, it's not a virgin wig. You know, it needs a little bit more care. It needs a bit more tenderness. So I'm going to go through individually and, um, what's it called? Chase. I'm going to chase my flat iron with a comb. Make sure I try to get the sleekest flat iron as possible. And I'll go through like, my section. I won't show y'all too much because y'all get this just after a while. But going through and making sure I get the hair extra super slick and as you can see like the color looks so good on me and can we get can we have a moment for the skin you know the skin i got a little breakout but you know it's nothing crazy and i gotta say my skin be showing out for me in the meantime i fight on this hair you see what i'm doing the skin though real glowy real glowy shout out to the lash tech as well anyway it's razor time get that razor don't do it straight get a little zig zigzaggy and i noticed i messed up here i wish i would have cut the lace a lot shorter than i did i thought i was going to fix it in post um, I definitely should have fixed it then. I should have definitely took off that excess lace because it did impact my longevity of my um, install. I wish I would have cut the lace closer to the lace or I would have went back and added some more glue. That was a rookie mistake. I knew better than that. But I think for longevity wise for this install, I definitely could have added a bit more glue to the edge where I'm now adding the spray. Usually my technique, but I usually do that as a sealing measure and not really like a oh i need to you know make sure this lays down measure because as you can see right there not to call myself out but you know if i'm gonna mess up in front of y'all i might as well tell y'all when i mess up so y'all can do better than me but sometimes your lace isn't all the way it's stuck like you as you can see this side is is all the way down except for right there right there at that last little ear tab is where i should have added more glue but instead i added this spray and that was kind of just a little bit lazy on my part because you know especially like me is always recording when i gotta go and that's unfortunate because i should have just added more glue instead and that would have um just ensured a longer install but you know all in all it's going to be okay i'm going to be looking real sexy fine hot at the end of this but just you know tidbit wise if you want to know any way that you can get a better install these are what little things i can teach you in the meantime so now because i need to seal it in again make sure that i can get the edges of the um lace as you know melted as possible i am now going to put that lace band, elastic band on and just do a quick beat a little concealer underneath the eyes a little bit of bronzer a little bit of bronzer on the eyes and you know a little bit of bronzer on the nose as well brown lip liner this is the one i'm using right now i got it from the beauty supply store i don't know the name of it it's just a regular old brown lip pencil and then i'm going to go in with this gloss after i'm done overlining this lip are you are you done yes got this nude gloss any new gloss will do i just like I, it really varies you're like y'all so y'all be like what the gloss what the gloss it'd be different every time for real that was just the gloss for today now i got this little clip in the back i thought it was real cute and i like the way the highlights look but at this point i'm just like i know this is going to go into a side part let's get that prepped while the elastic band is still on there doing what it needs to do i'm going in small sections because i did put this in a little middle part for the meantime i just felt like i wanted to be cute okay so i did that and then <laughs> i went ahead and got it little sec little bit by little i'm going to be adding so it can just be as flat as possible i love a flat side part i've been really eating up these side parts lately i hope you're not tired of them because i've been loving them loving the side parts um i wish i kind of would have stopped it here because i'm noticing that this blonde streak is getting a little thicker as i add more and more and i adjust to the side part 
I just wish I would have noticed that at first because it is going to be a bit thick for my liking. It was the only thing throwing me off about this wig. Like, you know, every wig is made in bulk, so it can't really have that much detail put into it. Like, oh, how is this going to look in a side part? So I feel like the highlight in the front was a bit choppy for me. But other than that, I really did enjoy it. And I don't think that's something that you can't fix as well. Like, some wigs, you know, of course you have to bleach the knots and pluck them. I feel like the only thing you have to do if you weren't a fan of how this was, and like something that I could do, is add just another highlight right next to the big bigger chunkier highlight right there in the back so it could just look, look look a little bit better i don't think that'd be a hard fix to do as well so that's just my honest opinion you know i'm here to give y'all the real tea and you know let's move forward now that i then told y'all how i felt <laughs> now i'm really getting in here because as i'm talking shit about the highlight the lace the knots wow like this is really looking like my hair the way this is laying so flat like the hair is listening so well it's so lustrous like the the things that i'm saying are not you know major deal breakers for this unit just i want to be completely honest with you guys because you know that's what i do here but you know of course the color job is pretty well done for this to be made in you know like a factory so now it's baby hair time. As you can see, I've got my little baby hair that I'm doing. I'm thinking this is enough, but ultimately I am going to realize that I need to add more hair. And that's what I'm going to do. But in, in the meantime, I'm going to act like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm going to, you know, not straightly <laughs> cut this off at a like angle and give it a, a spray with some Sebastian Shaper Plus. And as you can see, I don't really like how that happens. And, but this hair is looking like my hair. Can you can we, can we take a moment? I'm going to add a little bit more over there to just put that to the back. If I'm not going to do the baby hairs on this side, and these look like my hair, you know? So I'm just getting that. Wow. Yeah, I was speechless for a second because it looks very good. As you can see, I started feeling myself right there too. Like, it's, it's, I'm really resonating with that. I'm going to curl this up. And I'm going to realize immediately that I did this a little too long. But it's always better to do it a little too long than a little too short. So, yeah, you can kind of tell because it curled up upon itself. But I'm going to go ahead and curl my sideburns as I go because why not? And now I'm going to realize that at, at this point, like, I'm trying to make it work. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm adding my edge booster. I'm also going to be adding my ORS group gel. Like I said, all that is linked down below. But I'm going to be trying to comb it out. And it's just looking like it needs just more hair. So I'm going to realize that at some point, and I am going to be adding it, but at first I'm going to add this ORS to try to make it work a little bit better, but I'm going to realize that I need more hair soon. So here's me figuring that out. You know, baby hairs are supposed to be how you want them. If they're not looking how you want them, if you want to spend 10 minutes doing them like I do, you have the right. So after I add some more hair, hair as you can see here, um, it looked a lot better. So coming that in, I wanted it to look like, you know, it was all blended together, but I wanted that front to still be soft and wispy while it still looked structured in the back. So that was the vibe. I'm realizing that this now needs to be curled again, and that's okay because I'm going to do it. It's nothing to recurl it. It's nothing. Once that's curled the way I like it, just do a nice little comb through and use your finger as like a guide to where you want it to go. And at this point, I'm realizing it's laying the way it needs to, but I'm adding just a little bit of edge booster to really lay it down and secure it, but I still want it to look softer in the front so that was my kind of inspiration for this baby hairstyle i really am a fan like it looks so good to me personally in my personal opinion but i also don't want it to look too harsh you know i want it to look like it just naturally went over there at this point like every time i look at myself real hard i'll be like yeah a few hairs don't need to be there pull them get rid of them what they gonna do fight back just pull them out add a little edge booster adjust your mirror because you know my eyes at this point is eyeing I am going to really just get in there, do it real fast, because my eyes be eyeing at this point. I'm feeling my eyes going to fall out their socket. I don't stop doing these baby ears. Get a little splash every place. It's final touches time at this point. I, I'm just not realizing I didn't put any concealer in my part. That's how good this lace looked. That's how good the knots bleached. That's how good, like, everything was. So, you know, I didn't even notice that until just now. Like, this looks so good. I'm just showing you guys the highlights at this point and also like how I'm not really feeling that chunky part. So I'm trying to like find a way to like distribute it more so it wasn't so like fat compared to other highlights. Like in the, the highlights in the back of the head were more like 
like thinner and then this one in the front was more chunkier so i was just trying to find ways to incorporate more blonde like the little piece of blonde in the front i was trying to get that but then that kind of changed the dynamic of the side part i don't know let me know how you guys feel about it i'm not really mad at it but i just know i just it was something i noticed you know and i was trying to like little things like this but then i noticed the dynamic of the side part changed i don't know you know but it's still very nice and i am a fan of this unit yet and still i was just you know i'm picky i'm very picky but i think i made it look as blended as possible as i could and I was a fan at this point. I'm really feeling sexy. Ain't nothing like a fresh feel on your lashes, man. Is it get sexy eyes, man? I'm not even trying to give y'all the sexy eyes. It's just happening like that. Let's get into this hair. I think I believe it's 26 inches, but the true length will be down in the description box. I am 5'3 and it did just touch the top of this booty. Um, really a fan of the unit. As you can see, it's so lustrous and it's just flowing. <sighs> Wow, but I could just imagine it would flow and be so much softer. Not, it wasn't necessarily not soft. Like, please don't get me wrong. It was not not soft. I just know it could be more hydrated, more taken care of if the hair was deep conditioned. But for it not being deep conditioned, me still having that gripe with it, it's still looking so lustrous, so beautiful, so flowy. And I could say I'm a fan. Make it look really did it with this one. If you guys enjoyed it, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and don't be scared to check that description box and get you a product if you liked it. That's all I gotta say. I'm done talking on ear off. I'm gonna let y'all get a few more seconds of this flowy unit and me giving y'all the sexy eyes because I really felt like the face was sitting. I don't got no foundation on. I don't got no foundation on. If y'all want a baby make true let me know i'll give it to y'all been real i'm done talking out you're off have a great night have a great day <laughs> bye beautiful